In this video, we are going to show how to construct a process in Rapid Miner that will transform data looking like this into data looking like this. We will be using pivoting to restructure the data. This is a typical example of transaction data where we have transaction for certain customers and certain products and the recorded value of the transaction into a data set like this where observations present customers and then we have two sets of attributes for each of the products the sum of the total values and the number of transactions for each of the products. Now, how do we do this? Let's start with an empty process. What we need first is our data that we want to pivot. So we import some data or find it in our repository. We can start our process by automatically linking this to the output. If we run this now, we can see that we have our transaction database. So what we wanna do is we want to pivot this data. We want to pivot it so that each line will represent one customer and each column will represent a certain aggregation of, for a product. So what we will need to do is we will need to pivot. So we go to the operators window and start typing pivot. We select the pivot. Now, in the parameters section of the pivot, the group attribute is the one that will generate rows, whereas the index attribute will generate columns of the new data set. So we want customer in the rows and products in the columns. Everything else will be copied. So we will get one column for each combination of value of the product and the remaining attributes. So since in our case we only have value as the remaining attributes, we will get one column per each value of the product. So if we run this, we get this table. This is not yet the desired results. Question marks present missing values. In our particular case, we actually know that these values mean zero transactions. So what we can do is we can replace the missing values with zeros, because logically we know that if there was no recorded transaction, for a certain product, for a certain customer. This means that the total value of transactions here was zero. So we can replace missings. We can start typing replace or missing. Have the operator replace missing values, where we say that for all attributes, replace missing values with zero in our case. So we run this and we got rid of zeros, of missing values, and they were replaced by zeros. However, the values that we have here are not the true values, are not the correct values. We want to have sum and number of transactions. What we get here is basically recorded just the last transaction. So if we want to have sum of all transactions, and the number of all transactions, 
what we need to do is we need to aggregate before we pivot. So we need to aggregate. We need to aggregate before the pivot. So we search for the aggregate attribute and we put it in front in front of the pivot. We need to aggregate values for each combination of customer and product. So in the aggregate, we will generate aggregation. So group by group, group by group and index values in the pivot. So customer and product. And for each combination of customer and product, we will compute for value the sum. If we want to add besides the sum of all the values also count, so how many times did a transaction occur, we can add an entry and say that for value also count the number of instances. If we are now happy with this, we can run the process and you can see now for each product we get a column for the sum of values and for the count of values. We can improve our output, how it looks like a little bit further, if we add, if we rename before we pivot. So we can rename the two attributes. So for example, instead of using sum of the values, we can just use value of all transaction. Then we can add some more renaming. Instead of count value, we can use transactions. If we now run this process, it does what we wanted. So basically for each of the customers, now we get for all, for each of the products, values of transactions with each of the products and the number of transaction with each of the products. This concludes this tutorial on pivoting in RapidMiner.